Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical today. I'm bringing a very exciting video. So last time I went, I went over the Master of Harmony, I didn't have Alpha, so I couldn't go over the spells exactly what they look like in game. But since I have Alpha, we can go over all the spells. I have it fully unlocked. I don't know why the talents are bugged right now, but I have the full tree unlocked. So I'm going to go through all the spells, what the animations look like. All of them are implemented. Last time, some of them weren't. So I'm very excited about that. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. All right, so I'm just going to start from the top, work my way down, and I'm going to go through the animations, everything, and my thoughts. And if you have any questions, of course, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. And if you want to see anything, please let me know that as well. I am on Alpha. I am enjoying Alpha much more than retail right now, so or much more than live right now. So please ask any questions. So you chose Master of Harmony. This seems like the caster Mistweaver tree. I will do another video for the Conduit of the Celestials, but if you know me, I prefer casting Mistweaver over Fist Weaving. So I'm going to start with this one, starting off with the first talent. The first thing we're going to get is Aspect of Harmony. So you store vitality from 10% of your damage dealt and 20% of your healing. For 10 seconds after casting Thunder Focus T, your spells and abilities draw upon the stored vitality to deal 25% additional healing over eight seconds. So this was, this is really nice. when they first announced that cloud of focus was getting removed, I was actually really sad. I thought cloud of, Fo I thought that cloud of focus was needed for cast Mist Weaver, but the more I thought about it and the more I read through this tree, it kind of, this kind of just makes up for it, which is really nice. So vitality really isn't anything special. You, I mean, I'll get rid of this right here. Uh, it, you just, it's just a buff. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Oh, oh, that's a bug. I got rid of the buff and uh, <laughs> it, it's nothing special. Whenever you heal or do damage, you just get a buff that has stored vitality. That's it. And to get rid of it, you press Thunder Focus T and you're going to get the buff right here. That's you're drawing upon the vitality that you stored. You're going to do 20% additional healing and you just heal. There's a talent. I'll show you some other talents that makes it so if you don't use all that stored vitality, uh, it'll become a hot on people for eight seconds, which is really nice. But here's a little buff right here. So it's going to reset as soon as that that buff is gone. And you can see it goes up when I rising sun kick because you do it does it stores 10% of your damage. And it also goes up when I heal. So I'm just gonna do some healing and it goes up after I do some vivify. So it's nice. It's a cool little thing. Vitality. It's just a name. It's just a word. It's you're just you're just storing your healing damage as healing is pretty much what that is. Manifestation, Chi Burst and Chi Wave deal 100% increased damage and healing. This is nice. Cast of Mistweaver doesn't really have much <laughs> much damage, at least in PvP. and PvE, I know you have some. I know that the PvE rating build is like you heal, you cast, but you also do damage at the same time. So this is actually kind of nice. The healing bonus is nice. Chi Burst actually at a good time when you're raiding uh, can actually do quite a bit of healing. So that is uh, fantastic. Chi, chi Wave, <clears throat> I haven't had a use for Chi Wave in a while. So that's kind of sad. I'm just going to go straight across here. We're going to work our way down. So we have a choice node in the middle here. You get Purified Spirit. When Aspect of Harmony ends, any remaining vitality is released as healing over eight seconds. Split among nearby targets. So that's that's the one I was talking about before. It's split. So obviously, maybe in raiding, it's not that good. I forget what this one is. So during Aspect of Harmony, Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, and Tiger Bomb also withdraw vitality to damage enemies. So this is probably going to be your go-to for PvE, I would assume, right? This is just good damage. And I feel like for PvP, just because most of the time, you know, in twos and threes, there aren't a lot of people to split that extra healing out. So I would say probably for PvP, Purified Spirits can be nice. For PvE, Harmonic Gambit actually uh, sounds amazing. Obviously, if you want to do some damage as Cast Mist Weaver in PvP, you could probably go with this talent. I just never have a lot of chances to do that because most of the time, if you're not healing, you're probably just losing. Uh, balanced Stratagem. So this one is really cool. So... When you cast a physical spell or ability, it increases the damage and healing of your next fire nature spell or ability by 5% and vice versa. Stacks up to five times. And I was confused when I read this and it wasn't implemented before, but now it's implemented. So what that means is, so when I heal, I'm going to get a buff right here. So anytime I heal, I'm going to get a buff up to five stacks and it'll increase the damage of my next physical spell or ability by 5%. So basically I'm just going to heal, right? I'm just going to vivify, vivify, renewing mist, do a little soothing mist into enveloping mist. Maybe do some healing, renewing mist. Vivify. So now I have five stacks. So now this is going to increase the damage of like my next rising sun kick by 25%. Boom. Right. And then I get another buff. So this buff makes it so the healing and the damage of your next elemental elemental spell or ability is increased by 5%. And this is, you do this by tiger palm, blackout kick, rising sun kick, and you get this up to five stacks. And this is going to be increased the damage of your chi burst, I believe. So the chi burst, 56K, it's massive. 
It'll also increase the damage of your Chi Wave, of course. It'll also increase the damage of your... Oh, I healed Vax in there. It'll also increase the damage of your Crackling Jade Lightning. So if you're just Crackling Jade Lightning, it'll increase the damage of that. And then you could also use Crackle to get stacks for the physical spells. So this is really neat. You get Healing and Crackle both increase the stacks. You can't have both stacks at the same time. Sadly, right? Because, you know, you're using one to weave in the other. But I do like this because there's some kind of, like, weaving you can do between your healing and your damage and your crackle. So this is a, it's a neat spell. I think it's going to be cool to weave through that. 25% increased damage to, like, physical damage is pretty nice. So, and, and your um, nature damage. So I, I kind of like that a lot. At least we get some damage, right? I mean, I'll take, I'll take anything. Because cast and Mistweaver in PvP right now is, is brutal. Tiger's Vigor, so casting Tiger's Lust reduces the remaining cooldown on roll by 5 seconds. Pretty good. It's not insane just because the cooldown of Tiger's Lust is 30 seconds. So, I mean, it could be worth it maybe in some situations. I do like Roar from the Heavens, so Tiger's Lust grants 20% speed to up to 2 allies near its target. I think that's cool. I like that a lot. I wish, you know what I really wish? I know it would be OP. I know it would. But what I think would be cool is if Tiger's Lust... When you cast on somebody, it gives the freedom effect to all people around. You know what I mean? So if you Tigers off someone, they get the speed boost and the freedom, but then the freedom goes to two nearby allies. That would be amazing. But 20% increased speed is decent. There's no one around. I don't have anyone in a group, but that I, I don't mind that. That's that's a pretty cool, uh, nice little thing to have. I would probably go Roar from the Heavens. Tigers Vigor is decent but again it has a 30 second cooldown uh for tiger's loss so I, I you won't get much value out of it endless drought so thunder focus t has one additional charge uh, this this blew my mind when i first read it i actually didn't completely understand it when i first read it you actually just have two charges of thunder focus t so right now I, by the way this is the animation for when you have like stored vitality <laughs> this is the animation for it it's just like two squares on you so that's cool um but you get two charges of Thunder Focus T, which is absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, so you could pretty much... One thing I want to know, though, is like... Let me see. So my Vitality is going up. So that is something that is interesting. So your Vitality, when you press your Thunder Focus T and release all that sort of Vitality, it seems to be... It goes up while, while it's active, which means that that heal from here is going to be pretty big just because you have the bonus healing and you have the the additional you have the additional healing and you're just cranking healing into the buff so that's pretty interesting so that's good that do two charges of thunder focus d 30 second cooldown it's it's insane all right next one we have mantra of purity so when cast on yourself your single target healing spells heal for 10 percent more and grant a f i guess a hot over six seconds so i'm assuming this would be like expel harm probably renewing mist i guess we could see right now if i do that. Okay, so I get a little. Yeah. Okay, so I get a little thing, and it refreshes. Oh, I, so I renewing mist. It refreshes. If I vivify, it refreshes. I use renewing mist on myself. It refreshes. Vivify. Yeah. What? Uh, enveloping mist. Let me see if enveloping mist works. Yeah. Whoa. That is so good. Okay. So this is like a permanent hot. That that's like a permanent hot for like it, right now. It says sixteen k healing over six seconds i mean it's not the most but it's still like a permanent hot fort brew grants 20 percent stagger so this is like it's a brewmaster passive so stagger is like if 20 percent stagger would be 20 percent of the damage you take is a dot i'm pretty sure oh, i think it's like over 10 seconds i'm pretty sure but i i kind of like mantra of purity just because mantra of pure i mean mantra of tenacity fort brew is what a minute and a half cooldown now I feel like I really like Mantra Purity just because it has a, almost 100% uptime, right? If you're renewing Miss yourself, you know, you expel harm yourself off cooldown, you throw a little Vivify out there. It's it's pretty nice, but I do get that Fort Brew. If teams are hitting you, I feel like the Mantra of Tenacity will probably be better. But I think overall, if teams like First Caster Cleaves and teams that won't go you, I feel like I like Mantra of Purity a lot. In PvE, I feel like Mantra of Tenacity is probably just better, right? I mean, you have a minute and a half Fort Brew. You could just make it much better. You could probably survive much better, like, tyrannical damage from bosses and stuff like that. So I kind of like this for PvE, but I Mantra of Purity seems pretty nice. Uh, Overwhelming Force. So Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, and Tiger Palm deal 15% additional damage to enemies in the line in front of you. This, I was testing this, it is so cool. Damage boost beyond above five targets, so, you know, you just can't 
you know, do insane damage to five target. But look, look at this. Ready? Here, it's actually a lot easier if I come over here. So, Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick. So I'm gonna just look, look at this animation. Let me see. Boom. You see that line? So you're just doing like big AOE damage. So if you, so theoretically, if you do a bunch of healing. Right. If you're just doing a bunch of healing, you're healing, you're healing. You get your buff for the balance stratagem, which is this talent right here. And then you come over here and then you rising sun kick. Boom. And just fifteen percent of the damage of whatever damage you do. So I think that's a pretty good that, I mean, I would say that's a pretty good talent to have. I mean, maybe it's not the most healing, because again, caster misweavers, I feel like at least in PvP, there aren't a lot of opportunities to, you know, go for damage. But I guess any damage is good. So I'm I'm not mad about that. I like that a lot. Next up is Path of Research. So Cheebers increases vitality stored by 25% for 10 seconds. So this is just a buff, I guess, to our... Let me see if we get a buff here. Let me just get rid of all these right here. Let me drop that. All right, so if I Chi Wave here or Chi Burst. Yeah, vitality stored increased by 50%. Okay, so I don't know if it's bugged. I don't know if it's supposed to be 25% or 50%. But it seems like on a 30-second cooldown. So every 30 seconds... Oh, you know what I wonder? Every 30 seconds lines up with like a Thunder Focus T. And if you're getting 20, even if it's 25% of your vitality stored, you're probably going to be able to crank that buff up to like whatever the max is. So what you could do is you could, okay, you can Chi Burst into a Thunder Focus T and then your vitality stored right now is increased, right? By 50, I think it's 25%. And then at the end, it's just a huge heal. This could be good actually. I think it changes depending on if you're playing Chi Burst or Chi Wave. So I think for raiding, you're probably going to play Chi Burst. And for PvP, it's going to be Chi Wave because I did a little bit of a rework to Chi Wave that I need to go over. Um, and then the final one before the, the last note is Clarity of Purpose. So casting Vivify Store is 10,865 Vitality. Increases based on your recent custom miss. So I think this is a proc. I'm pretty sure if I heal. Yeah, right here. So this is Clarity of Purpose. My next Viv Vivify will store a certain amount. So I Vivify, it stores that amount to here. I think if I just heal, yeah. I think it stacks up to two as well. Yeah, it stacks twice, which is really good, right? And it's based off of how much mastery I just healed for. So this one was going to store 20k, and then, oh, it stores twice. That's right. Okay, so it stacks twice, but if you Vivify once, it will get rid of both. So it stores 21,000, and then I Vivify to get rid of both. So we're going to be able to really increase the, I mean, how fast we can store the Aspect of Harmony, which is really nice. And then the final one is called Coalescence. So when Aspect of Harmony heals, it has a chance to spread to a nearby ally. When you directly heal, an affected target has a chance to intensify. Targets damage are healed by your Aspect of Harmony. Take 10% increased damage or healing from you. So this is just when you press your Thunder Focus T, it'll heal, has a chance to heal somebody. If it hits them, if it's a friendly ally it's 10 percent healing i'm pretty sure if it hits an enemy it's 10 percent damage so overall that's pretty good i'm not i'm not mad about that this is a uh, pretty neat i like this spell a lot i thought i really thought cloud of focus was going to be you know being removed is gonna be the death of just cast and mistweaver but it seems like they're kind of making up for it with this aspect of harmony it just seems like a like a build and dump kind of build that cast and mistweaver is going to be you're going to build up your vitality you're going to do damage to build it up you're gonna do a ton of healing to build it up and then every thunder focus t which now you have two charges of you're just gonna dump all your healing out overall i'm not mad about this i it's a little this coalescence one is a little weird i'm not gonna lie but i think it's decent i it probably could be better in some way but overall some damage some healing a lot of healing a lot of healing and uh, I'm not complaining about it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. If you want to see anything, also let me know. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.